Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on my channel. We're going to be doing a cook with me. I am going to be making my super simple chicken fajitas. This is one of my family's absolute favorite meals that I make and it's really, really easy. There's only a couple of ingredients. So if you want to see how I make my super simple chicken fajitas, then stick around. To begin, you're gonna take a large red pepper, a large green pepper, and a large sweet onion and cut them into one inch slices as you will see here. Then you're gonna take two chicken breasts and you're gonna cut them into one to one and a half inch cubes. Here I have a 12 inch skillet that I have screaming hot on medium high. Spray it with some cooking spray and then I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of olive oil and I'm just gonna swirl this around and let it get nice and hot. And then we're gonna add the chicken. I wanted you to be able to hear this nice sear that we get on it. I absolutely love that. Anytime you wanna get a nice sear on the outside of your meat, you wanna add it to a screaming hot pan. So we're just gonna kinda of spread it around and then we're gonna season it with just some regular pepper and salt. Let me give it a little stir and we're just going to let this sit here and cook stirring occasionally for about another five to six minutes. Now that it's almost all the way cooked, we're going to put it into a bowl and set it aside for later. Look at how nice and seared this chicken is. Absolutely perfect. Now to the pan with our nice chicken crispy stuck to it, we're going to add in another tablespoon and a half of oil and then we're also going to dump in our peppers and onions. So we're just going to stir this around until it's nice and evenly mixed together and then we're just going to season it with some salt and pepper as we did with the chicken. We'll stir this one more time and then we're just going to simmer it, stirring occasionally until the onions and peppers are almost like a translucent color. Probably about another 10 to 15 minutes. So here it is after 15 minutes of cooking. As you can see, the onions are kind of translucent and you can tell that the peppers are nice and soft. So what I'm going to do now is add some garlic. I decided to do this last minute. Now I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of the squeezed garlic. If you want fresh, I would add like probably four or five cloves. I love garlic flavor in my fajitas. We're going to give the garlic a quick mix into the peppers and onions, and then we're going to add the chicken back into the pan with the peppers and onions, and then we're going to stir this up as well. Once this is all mixed together, we're going to add in our fajita seasoning. Now, I make a homemade seasoning. You can use this if you want. The recipe will be down below, or you can just buy it in the store. So I'm going to use three teaspoons that are just over level, and I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top of this mix. I also add in taco seasoning to the fajitas as well. I do one teaspoon that's heaping of this. Now, this is also a homemade one, but I will leave the recipe down below for you. Now we're going to stir the seasoning into the meat and vegetables. I like to do this dry before adding my liquid. I just feel like it sticks to the food a lot better. Then I'm going to add in my one and three quarters cups of water to this. We're going to stir it all together and we're going to simmer it for about 20 to 25 minutes uncovered, stirring occasionally. So we usually eat our fajitas with just plain white rice on the side, but my favorite way to eat it is with this stuff. This is from Costco. It's the Kirkland brand organic ancient grain blend of brown rice and quinoa. It is amazing. I love eating my fajitas actually as a salad. So I will take either some spring greens or I'll take spinach, like a cup and a half to two cups of it. And I'll serve out like half a cup of this rice on top of it and then like three quarters of a cup of the fajita mix. And the juices from the fajita mix will be like the dressing. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you guys check this out if you have a Costco available to you. 
Here we are after 25 minutes of simmering. It looks absolutely perfect. Now you can just pop this onto a tortilla with some sour cream and cheese or some lettuce or however you prefer to eat your fajitas. It is so easy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this cook with me. I plan on doing many more of these in the future. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this and the recipe will also be there as well. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will talk to you all later. Bye.